I think we're in uncharted waters, and here's why. The Wall Street Journal reports 100 incidents of Chinese nationals posing as tourists to try and breach U.S. military sites, item one. Item two, President Xi expected to skip the G20 summit. Item three, Kim Jong-un going to meet Putin in Russia to discuss weapons support. Katie McFarlane joins us now. Katie, is a new world order taking shape? Well, we'll see if it takes shape. The Chinese are certainly hoping that it takes shape, and it's all the things that you've talked about, plus a whole lot of other examples. The Chinese think this is their moment, that the United States, probably starting with the withdrawal from Afghanistan and all the mistakes we've made since then, that we're ripe for the picking. You know, our economy isn't in good shape. We've got a president who seems to be quite challenged. We can't get our act together domestically, and our economy isn't where it used to be. So, yeah, I think the Chinese are setting up the new global world order that's going to rest on China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, whatever they can pick up in the BRICS and the global south, and then they'll reset the rules of the international rules-based order to, to really favor themselves economically, on trade, and, and military possessions, and on influence in global regions, yeah. Uh, what do you make of 100 Chinese nationals trying to get into U.S. military bases, appearing as tourists and saying, hey, all have the same story? What is with that? <laughs> yeah, it's like they're coming in through the doors and the walls and the crack in the floor. Yeah, the Chinese are, are clearly penetrating United States intelligence. I mean, it started with the spy balloon, probably started before that. They're looking at us from Cuba. They've got d divers that are going off of uh, U.S. naval installations. They've got tourists going into um, hotels that are near American military installations. I mean, they even have White House tours where Chinese tourists are, quote, getting lost and taking pictures of areas they're not supposed to take. I think a lot of this is just the whole Chinese approach to intelligence is hoover up as much as you can. We'll figure out what we'll use it for later. But yes, and it's also in your face. They're not even trying yeah. to disguise it. They're right in your face. They're not worried about our reaction anymore. What's with Kim Jong-un's visit to Moscow? Is that straightforward? That Putin needs weapons and North Korea needs food, and the Chinese are telling them, telling their client state, NOCO, get up there and get some ammunition mm -hmm. to the Russians? Is that what's going on? Yeah, well, it's part of what you're talking about is this new global world order and the, the new Cold War, which is going to be led by China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran. You know, as long as oil prices remain high, thanks in large part to Joe Biden's war on American fossil fuels, then Russia has money to burn. It has money to pay for its war in Ukraine. It, it, it's running out of weapons, so it's going to take that money, that extra money it has from high oil exports and prices, and go around the world sh on a shopping spree. And I think that North Korea is the first stop. The interesting thing about this, though, Stuart, Kim Jong-un doesn't get on airplanes. I think he looks to see, saw what happened in Russia a couple of weeks ago <laughs> with Prigozhin. He only travels by train, an armored train. I, I shall remember that. Katie McFarland, good information. Thank you very much, Katie. <laughs>